Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, welcome to a new episode of your favorite podcast, guys. And we are in a series where I am basically giving you a sneak peek and a behind look at my tool stack. What are the tools that I use in my business? And today I'm going to sh- tell you about a business, a, a, a tool, guys. Ridiculous. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. As you guys know, uh, probably you've seen the episode. I made an episode about the difference between being productive and being efficient. Okay, so there's a big difference. People think that productivity and efficiency is the same thing. I will rather go with efficiency. Efficiency means the um, it's basically a ratio between the results that you get uh, proportional to the effort that you put in. Okay, so there are some people who are going to put in very little effort, but they will get more output than you, better output. This is efficiency. Productivity is, um, you know, I could deploy a lot of effort to get a lot of things done, but maybe it doesn't have an impact, okay? So that is the main difference um, between both. And what I try to do in my business is to be efficient because if I'm efficient, it takes me far less time, far less energy, and far fewer steps to achieve something, which at the end of the day, guess what? It gives me more time in my life, which is what I am trying to achieve and probably what you at home are trying to achieve. There is, might be a good chance that you right now uh, are um, you know, overworked, you're stressed, you feel like you have too much work, and this, this is how you basically get around that. How you make sure that you have to actually work less is by being more efficient, okay? So, uh, with that said, let me explain, um, so, you know, something that happens in every business, okay? So, in order for your business to grow, you need leads, right? You need prospects, you need leads, you need people to come in your business, okay? Now, what happens is that these people will arrive sequentially. So sequentially, it's just one after the other, all right? And, uh, you know, you can set up like cool automation. So someone fills a form, they get into some email sequence or someone calls them or something like that, um, which I recommend you do, um, which is much better than what most people do. But there is a way to get a lot more efficient and a lot more money for a lot less effort. Okay, and that might be very interesting for you. So, so just imagine you have a, let's say you have a store, okay? And outside the store, there's a line. There are a hundred people waiting in line to get in your store because it's the sales, right? And uh, right now you don't know who's home, right? And so basically it's first come, you know, first come, first serve, all right? But imagine this. So it could be that the person uh, who's sitting at you know the the number eighty nine is actually coming to your store to spend eighty like ninety thousand dollars, okay? Whereas the person on the the first row is going to spend ten dollars, okay? But you don't know this, so that person at you know uh, seat number eighty nine they might get bored. They might say, you know what, I'm gonna go and spend my money somewhere else. And you just lost 90 grand, that example, so, right? And that is a big problem, okay? Because right now you're just accepting people not knowing exactly who's whom. And it could be that that one person would have made your whole revenue for the whole year, but you have no idea, all right? And so that is a problem that you probably have. And that is a problem that I had. And I was like, how do I fix it? How do I kind of like know who I need to focus my attention on because I, it's going to be more efficient for me by finding that client who's going to pay $90,000 instead of someone who's going to pay $1,000, then dude, like my revenue will increase and my profit is, is absolutely insane in compared to the work that I put in, right? Well, the operational work because finding a solution to this problem is work. It's just being smart about it. Okay. So what do you do? Okay. And it, it, and trust me, it happens to you all the time. Let's say you have a, you know, I don't know, a call center or something 
sometimes some people are on hold and they're like, well, you know what? Let me go to the neighbor. Okay. So I have this problem and this is what I decided to do. I created a machine. Okay. And basically this machine uh, will tell me every time there is a need that comes in, it basically going to tell me how much that person is likely to spend. Right. So uh, there is some uh, mechanics that I can explain if, if, uh, if you are interested in this and you should be because your business, you're sitting on like potentially millions of dollars just because you don't have that. That will solve a big problem for your business. Okay. So uh, even before uh, speaking to anybody, I know who to speak to. Okay. And by signing two people, I could make more money than if I signed 50 other people that were in line before, you know what I mean? And so my thing was, where do I allocate my resources? So I created this tool. So this tool will tell me, all right, focus on that particular person because they are, they have deep pockets. They're more than likely to buy X, Y, Z. Okay. And, uh, what can you do with that information? Once you know this, okay, you can set up. And this is something that I've done for a business is we can actually set up a workflow. Okay. Um, so imagine in your company, you have, uh, Bob and you have Susan. Okay. Bob is the absolute worst, uh, salesperson. And then Susan, she's excellent. Okay. And so what you want to do is Susan has a better closing rate and a better satisfaction than Bob. That Bob is sitting in a company for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, right? And so what you want to do is that you want those high end, high potential clients to be sent to Susan, right? You're not going to send them to Bob, sorry, Bob, because he might, you know, blow the deal and then they go to the competitor. So now because of that information, what I'm able to do is I am able to basically um, create a flow that says if there is a person that has deep pockets, guess what? Notify Susan and open an opportunity on Susan's, uh, you know, CRM or something. And then SMS, like you, you, uh, you SMS Susan and then you email Susan and then you will call Susan and all that kind of stuff automatically. Okay. So that I put my best closer, my best salesperson, my best, whatever it is on the best client. And guess what? Bam. Revenue goes up, right? Um, and there is far less effort instead of talking to 50 people. Well, we might actually need to talk to three people. Okay. So that's one way of doing this. So two different ways. <clears throat> you can decide to allocate those big clients to someone, or you can decide that, um, if you feel that this customer is not necessarily in your niche, then you reroute them some, somewhere else. Okay. So I know businesses that do this to say, Hey, look, you know what? Uh, we only want to deal with this. This is our avatar. We only want to deal with this type of client, everything else. Yeah. It's not necessarily worth our time. So what they do is, um, you can cut a deal with someone else. So a, let's say a competitor was not really a competitor because they're on the, on a lower tier or something like that. And you can say, Hey, look, uh, you know, when I get these clients that are not in my target, you know what, I'm going to send them to you. And then you pay me X every time. And then you can get a very, very, very comfortable, um, uh, you know, revenue from that. Okay. So, um, you know, or you can automatically decide. So instead of like helping out a competitor or something, uh, or another company, you can just basically have a, uh, a message or a flow that will basically send them to. Um, something that says, Hey, well, you know, sorry, we, uh, you know, but can you please let us know more about you because blah, 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 XYZ, right. Um, or you can redirect them to another product of yours that, you know, it's a lower tier that, um, you know, they are more likely to buy, right. Something like this. Then, then the possibilities are endless once you have the information. Okay. But not having that information guys. Today is costing you time. It is costing you money and it's costing you sanity. Okay. And when you have this in your business, everything changes, right? Everything. Because, um, you know, again, as I said, someone who has this, someone like me who has this could 
make twice as much money as you by doing 50 times less work. Because you have a client who pays you one, I have a client that pays me 50. And I just need to talk to one client. You need to talk to 50 of them. All right? And so um, that's the tool that I built. And, uh, and dude, it's helping me a lot in, uh, in the business. It's very, very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, this is something that um, you know uh, you need in your business. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't care what your business is. This is something you need in your business. So now imagine if you could work, let's say, ten times less, and then double the revenue just by doing this. This is the the um, like the a good example of the Pareto principle, the eighty twenty rule. Focus. Find that twenty percent. Right. And within that 20%, so, you know, in that rule, 80, 20, so 20% of your customers are going to be responsible for 80% of your revenue. But within that 20%, there's another 20%. So you can actually take it a step further. Right. Um, and, uh, and yeah, these are the, the, some things that I've done now, if you're like, oh my God, I need this in my life because I spend time with people who are not qualified. People are wasting my time with like small deals. And, um, and, you know, I'm probably sitting on millions of dollars a year because I'm missing those big, big uh, deals. Then, uh, yeah, it might be a good idea to, um, um, to talk. And these are things that, for example, I show people in my mastermind. I do have a mastermind and I basically show them how to implement things like this in their business. And I can actually go and implement that for them, basically give them the whole system that's already ready to use. And, um, and then it's just plug and play. And then you start making money right away. No. So, um, it's, it's even better than this. You start working far less, right? You start being more efficient and because you're more efficient then the byproduct of that is that you get more profit and you're getting more revenue for less work. Okay. So that is what I teach people. That is what we do in my mastermind. And so, um, if you are interested in, uh, in learning a little bit more, then, um, yeah, there should be a link in the description that says, walk with me one-on-one -on -one or something, click on there. We can get on the call and, uh, you can explain, uh, what your business is and kind of like what you're looking for. And maybe we can see how, uh, how we can make it work. So now in my mastermind, I don't accept just anybody. It's a very closed uh, community because I like to work with people I enjoy working with. I don't need the money, right? So I like to have people that I enjoy work, working with. So it's basically, it's a, you know, you don't need to qualify as well. So it's like, you know, both ways. You need to determine, hey, is this something I would like to do? I need to determine, is this a person I would like to have in the community as well? But it's always a good opportunity to, you know, to get to know each other, All right? So anyway. Uh, think about that because this is that one thing alone can double your business. Okay. And it's not like, you know, sometimes you get promises online. Oh, you're going to do this. You're going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. It makes sense. All right. Just, just think about it. If you're like, it's mathematical, it makes sense. If you focus, if you know in advance, which one's going to be a huge deal, and then you focus on closing those huge deals, you can see very, very quickly how you can make more money with less effort. All right. It's not, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not telling you something that doesn't, you know, that doesn't exist or that doesn't sound uh, logical or plausible. It's, it just works. Okay. So if you're interested again, there should be a link somewhere that says work with me or something like that. I don't know. So it's, we'll be in there. Then uh, let's get on call. Right. And if you do like the uh, format, if you do like the information that I provide every day, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So that it tells me that I'm doing a good job. And it means that we get to talk every day. Because every day I will come here and I will give you some gems. Okay? Alright. That was pretty much it. That was Martin. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.